Hey guys, so I'm here today to show you my latest project, which is a glass PCB. Um, basically, I took a piece of glass, I mounted a bunch of traces on it, and I assembled myself a 2D LED array. And I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's really neat. You can see right through, you put your hand behind it, and uh, I've got a bit of a spiral pattern, and you can see it you know, on top of whatever's behind it. Uh, my power supply's got a big bright blue LED, and it kind of lights up the, the whole thing when I put it on the edge like that. I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, this is kind of inspired by the CN Lore YouTube channel where he made a AVR web server uh, mounted on a piece of glass. I thought that was pretty cool. So I thought I'd do something not quite as intense, but uh, but still something pretty cool. Uh, the only thing is I didn't actually use his approach. His The way he did it was he bought copper leaf, uh, just raw copper leaf, like what you would use to make uh, copper clad board, and he actually adhered it to the surface of the glass. What I actually ended up doing was using uh, this this copper tape that I picked up at a craft store. Um, basically it's just about 5 16 inch wide copper tape. Uh, it's got a bit of an adhesive on the back and I adhered it to the glass and it survived all of the soldering and the cleaning and the alcohol and all that stuff so I am more than happy. I picked this up at Michael's. It was about I think eight dollars for the roll so it's pretty cheap. And for the glass I know he likes to use microscope slides. I ended up using just your regular photo frame glass from the dollar store around the corner here so yeah it's pretty cool. Um, if you ever wanted to make something, you can check out my blog below. I've got a, a complete kind of photo tutorial on how I did it. Uh, basically, this whole mess of wires here is actually... I got the power supply here supplying 5 volts. There's no regulator on this design. It's just a microcontroller expecting regulated 5 volts input. And then I've got my four programming lines, uh, reset, clock, mosey, meso, and my programming pod connected uh, to that. So basically, this thing only actually needs two wires. I can, I can take away the programming pod once I get all that set up. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm going to shut the lights off and I'll give you a look at it in the dark and I can also, um, just before I do that, you can see on the back here, uh, you don't actually, the, I tinned the traces on the front, but on the back you see the copper and uh, I think it looks really neat. You can see where I've overlaid the traces uh, when I went around a corner or when I went from a trace to a pad, for example. So I think it looks, it looks pretty neat. I'm going to flick off the lights there and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like in the dark. Alright, so just real quick here before I turn the lights off, I'm just going to give you a quick zoom in. And you can actually get a look at the traces here. Let's see if I can focus that a bit. And uh, and yeah, you can see they're they're all tinned and, and the components are mounted directly on them. So I'm just going to shut the lights off. You can see I mount or I put the power supply behind with the bright blue LED. So you'll be able to see all the edges of the glass in that. And here we go, I'm just going to kill the lights now. Here you go, you get a really really good look at it. Let's zoom in here again. So for now I've just got a simple kind of spiral thing going, but in the future I could have my name scrolling across or I don't know, my school name or all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I hope you like it. I uh, spent about maybe a weekend on this project, had a lot of fun with it. Uh, leave some comments in the bottom and don't forget to check out my blog. Thanks for watching.